What's going on everybody? Jake here with Banded Fitness Equipment and today we're reviewing a brand new product from PowerBlack, their Pro 100s. A dumbbell that goes from five to 100 pounds and the first new product we've seen out of PowerBlack in quite some time. Let's get into it. If you're not familiar with PowerBlock, we've talked about them before, but I'll do a quick overview as far as the adjustments and how they work. So PowerBlock has been around since the mid 90s. They're kind of one of the originals as far as the adjustable dumbbells. And their adjustment system hasn't really changed too much in the last three decades because it's, you know, it's tried and true. But the way that PowerBlock is going to adjust is you're gonna have this selector rod through here and you've got a code on the front. It'll tell you what the different colors on the side mean for weights, but you pick which one you want. In this case, orange is 40 drop through there, now you've got a 40 pound dumbbell. And a benefit with the power blocks is compared to other adjustable dumbbells out there, the footprint will change depending on the size you pick. So if you pick a 20 pound dumbbell, it's a smaller footprint dumbbell. If you go to 100 pounds, obviously it gets larger. Versus other ones, it's not really gonna change in footprint regardless of the weight increment. But the handle on the interior, this is gonna be where more of your adjustments happen. These plates all individually here, these are 10 pounds. The handle by itself is five, but the handle holds two of these little adder weights. They're two and a half pounds each. So that's what allows you to have the smaller increments. You can do a five pound handle, one outer weight gets you to seven and a half, and two brings you to 10. And in a nutshell, that's how PowerBlock adjusts all the way from their entry level models up to their high end models, and obviously the model right through here. So that's an overview of power block in general and how they adjust. Now let's talk about what's new with this model. This is the Pro 100 EXP, and it carries a lot of factors, a lot of benefits over from other models in the past, but it's got a lot of new stuff going forward. One of which is the weight range that you can go on. So this goes from five to 100 pounds. Previous models like the Sport EXP or the Pro EXP, you can go from five to 90. So this is nice because it gives you that extra bump. A lot of people, I think, you know, you wanna have five to 100 pound dumbbells. I think it just sounds pretty cool. The other big difference is gonna be in the, you know, the expansions available. The two models that I mentioned before had three expansion options. You can go up to 50, 70, or 90. These, you can start with a five to 40 and then expand up to 60, 80, or 100. So you have a little bit more of a jumping in point. You can start at something that's a little more comfortable. And I think that's nice. I think it gives you a little more option uh, compared to some of the stuff we saw previously. The design itself uh, does also have some similarities to the previous design as well as some differences. It still has, you know, kind of that coding to it. This is very reminiscent of the, uh, the Pro EXP where you have that urethane coding. Um, you know, it looks really nice, but it does have more of that squared look like the Elite USA, which are the only power blocks that they still make in the States. Those have kind of stayed more or less unchanged throughout the decades. And this, I think, harkens back to that. Now, design from a decal standpoint, this has always been something on the EXPs that has been really helpful, is letting you know what weight range you're picking, you know, what weight you're actually putting the pin in. On here, you're gonna have your 10 pound jump, so it'll let you know what color aligns with 10, 20, 30, up through 100 pounds. And then as you can see on the outside, it will also show you what range you're picking up. So right here, it should say 100. On this side, if I'm picking up here, it should say 30. That's nice. To me, it adds a little more, you know, a cool design to it. If you put it down, you're looking at the dumbbells from across the room, you have a really good spot to know where you left them off. Something to note, the weight that it says on the outside assumes that both the outer weights are in the handle. So if it says 100 pounds, that assumes you have both those inside of here. So if you have an empty handle, you just have to do some mental math to subtract five pounds on the side. Again, it's real simple stuff. Once you kind of have an idea on how it's designed, how it plays, you know, it's not too bad, but something to note. Also on the decal on the front, where it gives you that key of 10 pounds, 20, 50, 60, up to 100, it does not give you any information about the outer weights. Previous versions actually would sell you, hey, an empty handle weighs five pounds, each outer weight is two and a half, two outer weights is five pounds. It does not say that on here. So again, it's just something when you're going at it from a design perspective, make sure you're aware of that when you're doing your math when picking your weight. Another big change with the Pro 100s is the size of the handle. So a lot of the dumbbells previously on the Power Black line, like the Pro EXP, the Sport, things like that, they've been about a 32 millimeter handle. This handle is thicker. It's about 38 millimeters, which is pretty good. It's actually really comfortable for pressing movement. So if you're doing shoulder press or bench press, 
I like a bigger handle, the more surface area to me is more comfortable. If you're doing heavier movements, especially for pulling things like rows or curls, this might be a little bit big. Uh, again, as you get towards a heavier weight, if you don't have a really big hand, it might not grip in total, but again, that, that depends user to user. I will say, even though it is a bigger handle, it is very comfortable. The rubber end is not, you know, it's, it's grippy. It does have a bit of a texture, so you have some grip but it's not real squishy too if you like it's just, you know, squishing your hand. I would prefer a neural handle uh, against if it was more like a dumbbell. And that is actually a great thing about the Pro 100s and the fact that you can get a neural handle. And this is what makes me really love this set. So you can buy a completely new handle itself with a 38 millimeter dumbbell neural handle. And this feels really good. It's not super aggressive. It's not real passive. It's just about what I want for a dumbbell. And this I think makes as the whole system, if you buy it with this handle itself, much more compelling. Now, a small drawback is when you order these, you can't order it with one or the other. You basically have to order the base set and then this is a separate add-on. But I do think it's worth it. This will make anyone who's worried about going to an adjustable dumbbell with the rubber handle, switching to this, I think makes it a much cleaner break from individuals to an adjustable set. One issue people tend to have with the power blocks is that it's a big and bulky dumbbell. And Sure, if you're comparing a 10 pound power block dumbbell to a 10 pound individual dumbbell, sure, the 10 pound individual will be smaller. But when you're looking at bigger weights, and I think people who are looking at the Pro 100s, they're caring about those bigger weights like your you know, 80s, 90s, 100s. I think the size difference, you know, it's a little more comparable. This is a 95 pound power block. I know it says 100, but we took out the outer weights, you know, five pounds, 100 minus five, 95. There you go. This is a 95 pound dumbbell. And you can tell the size, the length and width is you know, pretty close in comparison. The benefit though, always with a power block and adjustable dumbbell in general, is that this can adjust. This can adjust down to a lower weight or higher weight versus this is a 95 pound dumbbell. It's never gonna be anything else but a 95 pound dumbbell. This is also more flexible moving it around the room because you're reusing the same weight. If you put your pins in all the outer weights, 100 pounds, you know, you're moving two 100 pound dumbbells. So if you wanna rearrange your home gym, it's very easy to do. With these, you need to be a lot more flexible on the space you give because a five to 100 pound dumbbell set individually is 2,100 pounds. So that's gonna be a workout in itself. You're gonna need more time, more space to have that type of setup. So if size is an issue, if that's the thing holding your back, I don't think it's that big of an issue, especially when you're comparing the heavier weights. So who are the PowerBlack Pro 100s best suited for? Well, I think if you're comparing all the PowerBlack options, there's a couple things that you can determine if this makes sense or perhaps a different model. Uh, the firstly is if you want up to 100 pounds, if you want the ability to have a range of five to 100 in your home gym, or if you want the ability to eventually upgrade. So if you want to start at say like five to 60 and then upgrade in the future to an 80 or 100, I think these work really well because these are the only consumer model PowerBlock currently has that goes up to 100 pounds. Their other models only go up to 50 or 90 and they cap out right there. They do have a commercial model that goes to 125 that's expandable up to 175, but I think that's kind of a different category for people. I think that might be too much. I think this hits a good sweet spot. Another benefit is the urethane coating. So you have the urethane coating or you have just kind of the cast iron coat, like something like the, U, like the Elite USA or the Sport 24. These being urethane coated does make it a little bit thicker, but I do like how it makes them quieter. You don't have metal banging on each other during the adjustments. Again, that's more of a preference piece, but I like it. I think it looks a little bit better. And the other option is if you really like the ability for a knurled handle. Uh, I think the knurled handle on this one works really well. Yes, there are options on stuff like the Elite USA and like the Pro 50 to upgrade, but I like that this has a thicker handle, especially if you're doing heavier movements on presses. Again, stuff like shoulder press and bench press. If you're going up to the 80s, 90s, or 100s, I think a bigger, thicker knurled handle makes more sense. So that's the PowerBlock Pro 100. Thank you so much for watching the video. As always, we recommend testing the equipment out in store before actually making a purchase because things look really good in a photo or even a video, but in person, it can be very different. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. And if you happen to be in the Tampa Bay area, make sure to stop by our showroom in Largo, Florida to test the equipment out. Like and subscribe. And until next time, train hard.